Good morning, happy weekend. I realize with these um, monthly vlogs, I'm really only filming on the weekends <laughs> because that's when the sun is out, hopefully, um, you know, and there's just, you just feel like more in the mood to chat and do some stuff. Um, I just made myself some breakfast, tidying up as I talk to you. And I've got myself, now it's not the best thing I've ever made, but I've been craving having like the Mc, I guess they're, I guess McDonald's are most well known for them, but these are just the English muffin breakfast sandwiches. Here, I'm getting close for you. I've got um, some aged cheddar, an egg, and some ham. There you go. I was going to initially put some, <coughs> What is it called? Like the caramelized onions, sweetened caramelized onions I have in a jar, but wasn't sure if it went well with this. I'm gonna make myself some coffee. I hope you've all had a good week so far. It is the first week of December. And I am actually really looking forward to watching everyone's like vlogmas and stuff. Um, there's a couple of channels that I've been really enjoying for just casual content. I don't find myself watching a lot of beauty related stuff anymore. Once in a while I'll watch um, some style things, but like guys, with all this like masking, who's wearing a whole lot of makeup? I, sh I sure am not. Um, any, <laughs> any will to wear lip products, just like as an aside, out the window. I do try to put on a little makeup on the weekend though, but not yet because I've only just gotten washed up and did my yoga and you know, about to eat breakfast and whatnot. I wonder if all of you are doing anything special for the holidays this year and in what capacity because things are, you know, there's a lot more limitations to what we can do but I hope you still find ways to make the holiday special in some way. I do get some time off, about two weeks which is really nice. Um, I have also been doing some end of the year shopping. Black Friday came and went. Ooh. And while I don't think the deals are like super, super awesome, I went and restocked on some frequently used and like, I don't wanna say holy grail, but beauty products that I really enjoy using and want them back in my life because I've used them up and some winterly things. More specifically, I one of you guys recommended the American Eagle jeggings, jeggings, and you said they're less legging-ish and a little bit more substantial. And then I found that they do the warm and cozy, the ones that have the brush back. So I'm like, oh, that's what I need in my life. It's not been snowing yet. Like, not big, big snow, but I think we might get something soon. And by the weather report, January is going to be, like, heavy on the snowfall. So I would rather be prepared than not. I'm going to go and make my coffee, and um, I'll catch up with you in a little bit. So while I'm here being super cozy and waiting for my nails to dry, I thought I'd show you a few beauty bits I've picked up in the last while. So um, I had just mentioned Black Friday sales a while back and while I'm still waiting for some fashion-y items um, and also some poshmark -y things as well, I did pick up a MAC cosmetics order and I haven't shopped for MAC in I feel like a long time. Um, they were like my first, you know, dip into the 
slightly higher end realm i think mac is a great stepping stone when you're ready to move out of drugstore I th i'm thinking like mac as well as clinique they feel to me like that middle point stepping stone but mac i think has a wider selection and just slightly more interesting products anyway this is a repurchase of an oldie but a goodie you all know i love the mac face and body foundation which nowadays i put it on the other day and i still love it but the color has always been just a smidge off it's a bit too dark for me and i'm already wearing their lightest color the other thing to do would be to buy it by their white blending shade to lighten it up and i didn't see the point in that i picked up the mac studio water weight spf 30 foundation which looks like so don't mind the nails i haven't cleaned them up yet after painting um this is you know during that time when dropper foundations were really popular this is max version of a dropper foundation i loved the way it looked on my skin back then i'm hoping i will still love it i'm not too sure about this spf 30 that's a lot of spf in this it's octanosate titanium dioxide and then zinc oxide so it's a mix of chemical and physical sunscreen i don't recall when i first tried it it having spf but it doesn't really matter um there's no spf in here that i know of that breaks me out it's more the able benzone that causes my skin to freak um so here it is with the dropper i forget how tight the dropper was which is annoying because then you get a lot of gunky kind of build up around the rim like it's a real tight fit here i just why don't they give you just like a couple millimeters more room i don't know anyways um i'm glad i have this back in my life i can't wait to put it back on one of these days the finish is slightly powdery and i would say if you slightly powdery to the touch but has like a creaminess to it on the skin i really like it along with that i also ordered this paint pot which i now cannot open because yesterday i had some lotion on my hands and i tried to open it and now it's probably greasy but i'm just going to show you from the bottom um this is mac groundwork longwear pro longwear paint pot one of my oldie but goodie favorites this has no shimmer no shine so it's just a real nice one and done wash of color over the lids it's great to wear as a day-to-day -day basic um, and you can snazz it up by doing a little bit of sparkle or liner or something but just as a one wash color on someone of my skin tone this is a great medium tone brown which i love not too warm and not too cool uh, maybe just like a smidge warm but doesn't like bring out the redness in your skin or anything like that so i like that and then i picked up two nail polishes um when superstore was having a no, no tax week so that always helps um the selection there is not phenomenal and it's often very picked over but um, i did manage to snag two things i really like the first one is from the brand nat no no say it again neutro neutro i'm pretty sure this is the brand sensational um but repackaged slightly differently i have two other polishers i bought earlier when they first came into the canadian market um and it's a little bit different in terms of the front sticker but the claim to fame is that this is vegan bio-based however many things free um and they've got some very likable more neutral um and earth based colors so that's this one you recognize it by this faux wood looking top here and i have this color in blush blossom i have two more neutrals from them and then one i think like a beet red um wide brush side note nowadays i made the decision to only buy wide brush polishes because i can no longer deal with the itty bitty skinny brush like it is 2020 wide brush please thank you um i really like this color it's nothing special but i just like the color and it was a good price i found although i do have very similar nail polishes in my collection 
over time they do either dry out or get gunky or the formula goes funny you could revive it with um, their special like polish thinners or polish revivers i know opi makes a very popular version of that sometimes it's just time to let them go you know what i mean I also picked up, and this again I checked is in the wide brush. I don't know in particular what collection this is from. Superstore doesn't do like the seasonal collections very well. They just, I guess, have stuff until they sell out. So this one is from Essie. It's called In Plain View 728. I'll have to look up um, which particular collection this is from. I don't think this is permanent. It's probably from their limited edition at some point and that is the color I am wearing on my nails at the moment. Again, excuse the fact I haven't cleaned up. I'm just still waiting for them to dry. Now, I used to have this love-hate relationship with Essie and I think now we're more in a love relationship, which is great because I really do like Essie colors. Um, they've now switched to the wide brush in all of their new stock, if you will, a new production. If you have sc polishes in your shop that have the skinny brush it's probably still things they're trying to just sell and they haven't gotten the new ones in all the new stuff has the wide brush which i love but also i do think now i found the combo that works best in terms of longevity with sc and i can squeeze just about a week with it loads of people can do almost like two weeks with sc i can't i'm super hard on my hands i don't know why it just happens prior to this combo um really only the c and d vinylux has lasted a week on my hands so i don't purposely baby my hands or nails just because i have polish on i still need to do the things i usually do so the polish gotta keep up with me it's not me being delicate with the polish but this combo so far has served me well and give me gives me like the most mileage out of my sc polishes and that is first of all the here to stay base coat and I wish they would make all of their, you know, bases and tops and treatments in the wide brush as well, but I think they'll get there. This is still the skinny brush. So I put on the Here to Stay base coat, and then I do whatever SC color I've got. And then I put on the gel setter top coat. Now they have a couple of different top coats. This is just the one I happen to be using and it works well and fine. Um, they also have a fast drying top coat, I think a long lasting top coat. I just picked up this one in this combination with like this. It works really well and again, like I said, I can get just about um, a week regardless of what I'm doing out of my SC polishers now, which is wonderful because I really do like their colors. Their colors are so much fun. Um, I have also been thinking of taking a break from my sewing okay let me backtrack i still have projects i need to finish for minerva for their blog posts and stuff i'm part of their um blogger network and you know that just needs to be done but beyond that i i want to do a bit more scrapbooking and drawing and watercolors and like paper based art or maybe even doodling on the ipad um, i've been trying out a couple of apps and just getting to use my apple pen a bit more i did buy the apple pen side note um when i got my ipad pro a couple of years ago and i just never got into it and used it very often but again when you're so busy you can't do all the things you want to do all at once so i think i might ease off of the sewing just a little and focus a bit more on like design and scrapbooking and you know adding color and drawing and stuff to that i've been watching a lot of illustrators um, and artists over on youtube and it's been super inspiring so i pick up some more scrapbooking supplies and i'll show you later in the week when uh, they get here
Hey everybody, happy whatever day of the week it is. Um, I usually don't pick up the camera on the weekdays because you know, day to day the weekdays are just more or less the same. But today, I'm about to cook something um, with some stuff I sprouted. So I thought that was kind of exciting and I want to show you before I chop things up and just make it happen. But first, let me grab what I need. So I like to buy and keep a lot of garlic um, in the house because I don't know, I find I like the flavor of them and they're just good to put into everything. Um, but I bought too much one time and it never like didn't quite use it up and it was starting to sprout. So I decided, hey, if you're gonna sprout anyways, why don't I put you in a little water and see what happens? So this is probably about three um, cloves of garlic and I just put them in some water and look at them go. This one is probably the first one I put in here so it's now quite long and these are just um, from a few days ago. But if you put them in some water and you give them some sun, they will grow. So you can actually eat this. Um, what I think I'm going to do is just chop them, oh maybe just the big one I think. And then I pulled out from the fridge or the freezer, shall I say, um, some, didn't defrost it in time before I left for work, but I previously bought some, what can I read this? Um, Nanjing style salted duck leg. So you can often find these kind of cured meats in the Asian supermarket, usually in the freezer. This was about maybe three bucks or so, um, three to four dollars. It seems kind of expensive, but if you're pairing it with other things, um, I often also pair this with um, bell peppers or whatnot and like stir fry it together, it's fine. Um, this is, I believe this is already fully cooked. You can eat the steamed, you can pick off the meat and stir fry it, which is what I'm going to do, but I wanted to show you the whole package before I get going with that. And I'm going to chop these guys up and use them. I don't know if I want to mix it with a bit of um, just regular onion or not. Um, I'll have to figure it out. But usually when I'm cooking, like I'll just put my headphones on, just get it down to business. But I figured I'd talk to you about this and show you how it comes up later. Good morning. Happy Monday. Um, wow, I am checking in with you on a Monday because I am on winter break. The first two days of the break, like Saturday and Sunday, I just could not. <laughs> could not because I spent, well, I decided that the first day of my vacation should be just a lay in bed all day until I absolutely must get up um, to go to the bathroom or to save myself from starvation. And it was great. I never do stuff like that. Even when I was in university, like I was never a, you know, stay up, super stay up or super sleep in type of person. Like for me, sleeping in would be like, I don't know, sleeping until maybe like 11. But I'm proud to say on Saturday, I did not get out of bed until like 3. <laughs> and it was great. Um, yesterday, I had to just hunker down and get some stuff done. So I figured there was no point in getting distracted. But today, oh my gosh, I think I'm finally ready. I still have a few things to do, but I'm finally ready to kind of start my real vacation. Um, so 
Yo, this one's still kind of wet. I washed all of my um, rags and cloths, by the way, so I'm just gonna fold them up nicely. I've got a few things I need to do today. Um, like I've been mentioning in the last couple of vlogs, I need to finish up my Minerva sewing obligations. Um, if you're new to this, I am part of the Minerva Fabric Shop Blogger Network um, and they kindly allow us to choose fabric every once in a while in exchange for a handmade garment and a blog post. So I'm quite a bit behind. Um, yesterday I just hunkered down and did all the wrap up sewing I needed to do. A lot of them had like hand sewing components and and this and that, but they're all done, so I just need to photograph them today. However, the weather is still looking pretty dreary, so I don't know how much lighting I'm gonna have, but I think we'll just have to make the best of it. I just want it to be all done, and then I have no obligations, if you will, for the rest of the break. And I can choose to either sew or not sew, or just, you know, do whatever I felt like doing. So, I do also want to maybe um, make a quick trip to the store to get a few things um, so then I can just hunker down and be holed up in the apartment for the rest of the break more or less. It is just half eight. And I think I'm going to actually do some yoga. Yoga was one thing that I really missed when I went back to work. Um, could I have gotten up extra early to do it? Yes. Was it realistic? Totally not. Um, I still try to do it on the weekend. So I would, like on the weekends, I'll do one day of gym and then one day of yoga. But what I find is, especially after I get up, um, I am so stiff. I don't know if it's the pillow I'm sleeping on and I need like a side sleeper pillow or something. I know sometimes it is to do with the computer, but I'm not on the computer lots, lots when I'm at work. Like I'm always moving about, but all the way through here, super stiff and sore. Like just other parts of my body, <laughs> just like crickety and sore. Um, when I was on the summer break i did yoga almost every day and, and i actually really miss that i don't do anything advanced by the way it's all very simple and just like basic stretching um very beginner yoga but i do really enjoy it i think it does make a difference so i'm gonna do some yoga today i'm going to get myself sorted so i can photograph the stuff and get it posted then we might try and make a trip outside side note i still haven't decorated in the apartment at all. I still don't know if I'm going to or not. Um, if I manage to swim by the dollar store and I find something or come, you know, upon something I really like, I might put a few things here and there, but I'm not gonna go wild with the decoration. Um, I contemplated getting a tree, but I don't think that's gonna happen either. It's just too much fluff and stuff. Um, but yeah, I will see you in a little bit later on in the day. Hello, happy whatever the day of the week it is. Um, we're still on winter break and I have just finished all of my obligatory backlog sewing projects. So I had recently purchased some flannel net. Side note, I did actually look it up. It's not flannel net, it's flannel Flannelette, flannelette. Sounds the same when you say it fast, really, but it's not the true flannel that you get, the real expensive ones. This is um, the stuff that's quite a bit cheaper, but is way more widely available and um, comes in, in a lot of fun prints as well. So I saw these bunnies and oh my gosh, you know, like, you can understand this, right? Look at them. Just look at them. They are so adorable. I actually especially love this one. The one on his little hind legs who's going like, where are the treats? 
the treats. <laughs> Definitely my kind of bunnies. Um, the bright yellow is not a color I normally would wear if you couldn't tell But I love the print so much so they had to get some um, I bought these off of Fabricville. I will link it if they are still available, but I'm thinking now That I am going to use that um, to merge with another project I have in mind so I'm sure I've talked about this the vintage house coat uh, Butterick 2887, which looks like this. And it is a front buttoned raglan sleeve robe, is what they're calling it. It's really a house coat. Some of you have to explain to me what exactly a house coat is and when do you wear it, and I'm all for it. I, I just need to make myself a bunch of house coats. It's what I really need in life. Um, also to keep myself warm too. I am going to kind of take apart um, a unfinished project that just wasn't going anywhere. I've again talked about this in a different video, but I've got this corduroy, which kind of matches my couch. Um, I've got this dusty mauve cord that, you know, I had this lining, I was going to make something, but what I'm going to do is take this off and I have more fabric for this as well. And then I'm going to do the bunnies on the inside. So it's going to be Hang on. Oh, it's gonna be. <laughs> it's gonna be pink cord on the outside and then bunnies on the inside. It'll be, I think, super cozy and it won't be like too crazy. You know, I love the bunnies, I think they're fun, but it might just be a little bit much <laughs> wearing it on the outside. But um, to have it as a lining is, is um, I think, just perfect. Now this particular pattern is button front. I've now tackled a set of buttons for another make uh, for a dress. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. And this particular pattern is lined in the sleeve and lined in the body, which is great. Um, I don't know if it's going to be hard to take on and off because the fleece is not like slippery, but it, it might actually be fine. I'm not sure if I want to do version A or version C. The only difference is the collar. You either have a Mandarin collar or a Peter Pan collar. We'll see what ends up happening. But that's a, a quick adjustment, if anything. Um, pockets or no pockets? Hmm, not sure yet. Not sure. I'm going to have to play around with this. Um, haven't used this yet, so I'm excited to dive into another vintage So. I also need to go pick up a package, but I don't really want to go outside. We'll see if I feel like doing that today, but I'm going to take this apart actually and um, cut into my house coat. It has been, since the winter started, pretty darn cold in this apartment. Um, it's got lots of windows, I guess. It's, you know, it's a pro and a con. Um, I do have individual electric heating, both in the living space and in the bedroom. Like, it's nice that way. So if I'm just in the bedroom, I can turn on the heat just in there and still try to keep um, the cost down. But I find even with the heat cranked way up and spending lots of dollars, my feet still get cold. Do you get that at all? Like for me, it's usually my hands and my feet, like my appendages <laughs> cannot keep warm. It's much easier to layer on top and layer on the bottom gets complicated even with my slippers on. So I decided it was a good idea to get a little mini portable heater. Now I kind of knew these things were available but 
it, it didn't really stick in my head until I was looking at a flyer and they were advertising stuff like this. So I'm like, hey, sounds like a plan. Um, that way I can just point it at my feet and otherwise don't need it, you know, even for the rest of the room really, because most of the time I am flying, it's just that my feet are cold. So I got this, which is the DeLonghi Ceramic Personal Heater. Um, it's supposed to go up to 1500 watts. Don't ask me exactly how hot that is. I don't actually know, but I thought it seemed like a good size and won't be too much of an eyesore. So it looks like this. If you put it next to me, it's about the size, actually it's about the size of a purse. Um, not too heavy. And if you plug it in, the cord's fairly long. It should produce heat directionally, so I can just aim it when I'm sitting down somewhere, you know, reading or sewing or whatever, and my feet just get real cold. I hope this works. It's got a, I believe this is the fan, temperature dial fan. Um, no, this is a speed fan. And then this side is temperature dial. Hopefully you can sort of see that. Supposed to have lots of um, safety features, auto on off, comes in a charcoal and this uh, off white light gray, which is what I decided on. Let's plug it in and hope it works. Yeah. 